what's next? It's big, it's broad, it's next on Sunday. With six sections and pullouts, including glossy color fashion magazine, Elan. There's something in it for everyone. Next on Sunday, ask your vendor and buy it. Hello and welcome to Next News. Nigeria's Inland Revenue Service on Thursday sealed the Lagos offices of two oil companies owned by businessman Mike Adenuga. The agency says Mr. Adenuga evaded taxes to the tune of $610.6 .6 million. The company sealed off at Continental Oil and Gas and Cornell Producing Limited located in Victoria Island, Lagos. Mr. Adenuga is thought to have fled to the neighboring Benin Republic where his mobile and oil businesses are said to be thriving. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on Tuesday filed a 156-count charge of criminal conspiracy at the Federal High Court, Abuja, Nigeria, against six officials of the Rural Electrification Agency and four members of the National Assembly. Those charged include the Chairman of House Committee on Power, Ndudi Elumelu, his Deputy, Mohamed Jibo, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Power, Aliyu Abdullahi, Chairman of the Senate Committee on Power, Nicholas Ubane, and the Managing Director of the RAA, Sam Gakwe. The 10 suspects appeared in court today. The police in Delta State, Nigeria, said on Tuesday that it followed a robbery attempt at a third-generation bank in Ugeli and killed three suspects in the process. The police public relations officer, Charles Muka, said that the incident occurred at about 10 a.m. on Tuesday. According to the police spokesman, the robbers could not access the bank's vault but robbed the customers at the counter of an unspecified amount of money. Former captain of Nigeria's football team, Shegmo Odegbami, said in Lagos that Nigeria currently did not have a cohesive team to take to South Africa 2010. He said the national team had experienced a steady decline which reached its peak with the failure to qualify for the 2006 event in Germany. While speaking against the involvement of the Football Federation in team selection, Odegwami remained optimistic the Super Eagles would qualify for the 2010 World Cup. Thank you for watching Next News. For more details, please visit 234next.com.